Jennifer Cook. I'm a chapter advisor here at Del Norte High School. Best Buddies has been the largest club on campus at Del Norte since we opened. Best Buddies has been a place where students with and without disabilities have really found a place to make connections. Ms. Cook became a big part in my family. I've been going to events since I was six, so it was just an easy transition since I already knew what it was about. Adam has a lot of spirit and really enjoys going to the activities and getting to know Carly. And Carly's always been kind of shy and quiet, so he brings her out of her shell. We also sometimes go to people see it and we play video games together. Roblox, yeah. In the fall of 1989, I was a freshman at San Diego State, and I saw another young woman, Annie Sullivan, who was in my sorority, and she was one of the founding members in 1989 of the San Diego State chapter of Best Buddies. And even though I was in a sorority in college, Best Buddies really became my thing. She's led a lot of the events, and she's the reason Best Buddies is where it is today in Del Mar. I've seen a huge change in the access for our students with disabilities going from when I first was a special education teacher. They're not an afterthought, they're on the master schedule to begin with. What classes do they want? They get the first priority. If they want to learn Mandarin, they're in Chinese. And if they want to learn coding, they're in computers. And if they want to work in the student store, they're in there. No, it's not going to happen overnight. There might be some hiccups, but they really can get themselves out there. So. Over the years, I've seen so many young people launch. And then for our peer buddies, many of our students go on from the high school chapter and go on and continue in college. And I've had quite a few dozens of people become special education teachers. One of our presidents, Toby, is now a sophomore in college and he's at the United Nations doing advocacy and internship advocacy for people with disabilities. I have another prior leadership team member. She's in law school and she's going to be a lobbyist for disability rights. I think Best Buddies is a place for a lot of kids and people to know that you come as you are and we accept you and we love you and we'll let you flourish and you know become who you want to be. And I think like in Best Buddies, a lot of people just treat everyone equally and I think that's really important. Even if you don't go into education or you don't go into advocacy, you're gonna be an adult and you may or may not have a child of your own or a niece or a nephew with disabilities. You're going to be a coworker. You're going to be a boss. And so if you have the opportunity to be inclusive and be accepting and just ask, how can we do this instead of why are we doing this? It's gonna make our world such a better place.